guys so I'm back with another video and um, today I wanted to just film my story time video because I haven't filmed one of these in a good while now so I thought it'd be really fun just to do one of these videos I love doing story time videos even though I'm the worst worst explainer in the world and I'm really bad at telling stories and explaining things but I do like to do these anyways I think they're a lot of fun and I love watching other people's story time videos so today I'm going to be um, doing a story time video on my first kiss and <laughs> it was a really really awkward first kiss but um, yeah I think it's just like really interesting to see like videos like this when people are having their first kiss to the first time to just stuff like that it's just it's just always funny and interesting. So yeah let's just go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so I moved the camera up a little bit because I didn't like the angle that it was on and it's still kind of weird. Like, I'm crooked in my room and I got my cats back here with me and there's one behind me. You can't see him, but there he is. He's behind me. This story all started when I was in high school and I was in the 8th grade. I was 14 years old. And just to start off telling you guys, I wanted to say that when I was in high school, I really, really, really just like wasn't into the whole dating gig. Like I was, honestly, I was scared of boys. Like I was scared of guys. Like I didn't talk to a lot of guys unless, you know, unless they were gay or something and then they, you know, gay guys hang out with girls and stuff like that. But like, I didn't talk to actual straight guys a whole lot. Like I was too scared to talk to them for the most part. And at least for a while until I got like a little bit older and I was probably like in my junior to senior year then I like was a little bit more talkative but I was really really shy in school and I, school just for me was not <laughs> just was not my thing like I did not like school and I did not like being around a lot of people because I was very shy and just kind of like I hung out with my own little group of friends and that was it like I didn't ever expand my you know I didn't go and talk to just like everybody like I know there was like a lot of people that would talk to everybody and was real friendly and really outgoing and just like really talkative and just like not embarrassed at all to stand up in front of the class I was like completely completely bashful and just in my own little corner you know what I'm saying like I hated school basically I was not a school person so I was really not into the whole dating thing like my friends always had boyfriends and stuff like all the time and they wanted to date guys and like I was attracted to guys like I knew that I liked guys I was attracted to them but I was too scared to put myself out there and to communicate with them if that makes any sense um, because I was just so shy and like I just was kind of honestly scared of guys for a long time just because I was scared of like having my first kiss and doing everything that you do when you're in a relationship. I was so scared of all that but I, but I wanted that, you know what I mean? Like I was always a big romantic movie person. I still am to this day, like I love watching romantic movies. I liked watching romantic movies and I liked just the whole idea of having a boyfriend in my own mind was like always something that I fantasized about having and wanting but I was just so scared so <laughs> I didn't really have like a lot of boyfriends through high school but I did date a few people on and off and it, this is what you this is what we used to say like in high school we would say going out with this person and technically we didn't go out anywhere like we didn't go on a date like going out just meant you were with this person like that's what we said when I was in high school so um if you guys are related so if you guys can relate to this story if uh you went to high school about the same time as me then stuff was probably similar for you so leave me some comments down below if you guys can relate to the going out but you really did not go out anywhere at least I didn't and my friends didn't technically really go anywhere when we was that young like as we got older you know then people really started like dating and going places but when we were that young we didn't go out we just it was just a term like oh such and such is going out with this person and such and such is going out in that with that person and it just it was so stupid that I look back 
and think about high school trends and how much I really don't miss high school at all. So the boy that I kissed for the first time went to grade school with me and then he also ended up going to high the same high school as me and he like had a crush on me I guess and I really didn't like him like I didn't find him very attractive and I just well I wasn't attracted to him like I don't think he looked that bad I just wasn't attracted to him and I didn't want to go out with him I just thought he was he was a really goofy type like kind of goofy and just kind of like I don't know although he was a very nice guy which was one good thing about him he was nice he was kind of like the the goofy funny type of guy and like I'm not even gonna I'm not gonna say his name in this video just in case one day he ends up watching this video but um I mean I guess he might figure out that I'm talking about him but anyways um so yeah my friends kind of like talked me into going out with him in the eighth grade and I just was like okay maybe I just need to date somebody so I you know don't get called a lesbian or considered because like a lot of people in school thought that I was gay um I, because I didn't have a boyfriend and like I always knew that I was not gay like I knew that I liked guys I was just scared of them so I was like okay maybe I just need to do this just to you know prove myself right so I went out with this I went out with this guy that I just really wasn't into at all and I just like just didn't really want to be around him but like you know how it is he was all like for me which I felt kind of bad to like kind of use somebody like that and like he really, really liked me. He would write me notes and stuff. Like, notes was the big thing in school. Leave me a comment down below if you guys can relate to writing notes. Because me and my friend had, like, note boxes that we kept all of our notes in that we wrote to, each to everybody. And, yeah, that was, like, the thing. There was no texting back then. It was just all writing notes to each other. And I really missed that. I wish the world was still similar today just because, you know, the good times. But anyways... <laughs> So we ended up dating, he would like meet me at my locker and stuff and walk down the hall with me and hold my hand and I would just kind of be like, uh, I don't really want to date this guy anymore, you know, like I don't want to, eh. I just felt like he was interfering with my daily life that I, you know, and looking back now I think I realized that I just wasn't ready for committing myself to somebody else, like I wasn't, I was just like an independent girl that loved spending time with her friends and having fun with them. But I didn't want to get tied down in a relationship. I don't know. It just wasn't my thing in high school. Like, I didn't ever really want to be in a relationship. But I, the only person I wanted to be in a relationship was with the guy that I told you guys about in I Stalk Somebody story. If you guys remember that story, I talk about how I stalked somebody and was obsessed with somebody for so long. But, yeah, that really just doesn't sound good. <laughs> but, um, it's true. I had a crush on a guy since, like fifth grade all the way to like 10th grade probably it was really ridiculous and I think I just kind of knew in the back of my head that he's the one that I you know wanted to be with and so dating this guy in eighth grade was just kind of like I think that's why I couldn't bring myself to be into anybody else is because I was so focused on him and I liked him a lot and also I didn't want to even date him because I was scared to death of dating him so, I don't know if any of you guys can relate to being scared of guys. It sounds kind of sad to be scared of guys, but I was just that type that just was like so scared of everything. Scared to do stuff. Scared to just go out and be like the public, the outgoing. Just scared to be like in front of people and that kind of stuff. Like, I don't know. Just wasn't my thing. And anyways... So he would sit with me at lunch and stuff and he even rode my school bus. So um, I remember the first time that we kissed was like after a couple days or so of dating. I think I only dated him for like two weeks or something and then it was like over, you know. I ended it and I was just like maybe wrote him a note or I had one of my friends do it for me to break it. Just, just, just tell him that I wanted to just be friends with him, that he was really nice and I just wanted to be friends. You know, I never really wanted to hurt anybody in school that liked me or wanted to go out with me because I did get asked out a lot and I you know this one guy went through a lot of trouble and that's like a whole different story but he got me flowers and like everything else and I felt so bad but I just was never really into him either like I thought he was a nice guy but I just wasn't into him and I just I don't know I know sometimes that it's just not about looking at somebody it's about knowing them from the inside and to just give them a chance to find out how they are and then you can gradually 
get into somebody that way. But I was young. I just, you know, I was just like, nope, not going to date him. Nope, not going to date him. Nope. And <laughs> anyways, the guy that I really, really wanted to go out with, the guy that I stalked, ended up being gay anyways. So it's no wonder he never wanted to give me a chance, right? But um, yeah, so back to my story. We rode the bus together. And one day I just decided that it was time for me to have my first kiss. I also felt like back then everything was a competition. I don't know if you guys have the same thing, but all your friends were like talking about how they did this with a guy, how they did that with a guy, when they did it, how they did it, who did this first. I mean, come on, everybody can relate to that because that's just how it was back then when you're in school and everybody's talking about this and that and doing this and that. And so I was just like, okay, I'm going to have my first kiss because I want, I just want to have my first kiss. Basically doing it so um, I could just say I got kissed, which is a terrible reason to do something like that. So we rode the bus and we got to the school that we got off at my house and we, uh, we kissed basically like I remember just like leaning in, I closed my eyes and I just kissed him just like a simple, you know, moi kiss and that was my first kiss and I told my friends about it and my friends were like you kissed him oh my god da, 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 da. and da, da 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 you know how it is with your friends back in the day and I just I don't know like I just remember feeling like I didn't really want to kiss him but I like kind of made myself do it because I wanted to be big time and have my first kiss so I did and yeah that's pretty much all to the story like I didn't date him very much longer because I wasn't really into him and um, I wasn't even into talking to guys on the phone really like I just wasn't into getting my life wrapped up with a relationship when I was more focused on having fun with my friends and just kind of being a single lady you know what I mean like I don't know I just liked being independent like I, it was almost like people used to say that I would like play hard to get and stuff like that and just be like a you know whatever they would say but really I was just scared to date anybody and I also was never really attracted to anybody other than that one guy in school because I thought all the boys in school were so immature and just so stupid and I know that sounds really awful because I didn't really personally know a lot of them but that's just how they acted in school you guys know how it is like when you're like especially when you're like in eighth grade so yeah, that is basically how I had my first kiss in 8th grade. I was 14 and it was just honestly the most awkwardest thing and the weirdest thing in my opinion. It was just, you know, something that I wanted to get over with. And I don't think that you should want to get your first kiss over with. I think you just want to enjoy your kiss with somebody that you really like and that you really want to be so don't be like me and just go out with somebody because your friends pressure you to or want or try to hook you up with somebody um do what you want to do no matter what the situation is if I could go back and change anything in school it would be for me to be more of my own person and not do what my friends did it would be more like I need to do what I want to do and you know I love my friends to death I still <laughs> still have the same group of friends and everything. I just feel sometimes I was a follower in school. Like I did everything my friends did. And it's just like, why did I do that? Because I kind of wish I would have took theater in school, even though I don't know how I would have done with that because I'm so shy, but I love acting. I don't know. I, I just don't even know how that even mixes being so shy, but yet I love to act. I don't know. So yeah, I just wish there were some things that I would have done differently in school, but I'm just glad that those days in my life are done. I do miss hanging out with my friends though. Um, that's one thing I do miss about school is seeing my friends. Um, we were all pretty close friends and we don't get to see each other as much anymore. I still see my best friend Marissa more than anybody else. I see her about every couple weeks or so, which isn't really enough like I wish we could see each other more and it's just something that you know happens when you get older and you get married and you have kids and you just you know everybody just moves on with their own little lives and it's not really the point in this video like normally I'm rambling <laughs> so I'm gonna go thank you guys so much for watching this little story time video and give it a thumbs up if you guys um kind of had similar experiences to me if you guys ever had that awkward first kiss or if your kiss was great leave me some comments down below and let me know how your first kiss was and yeah um please 
subscribe to my channel, make new videos every single week, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!